Hydrohalogenation is a type of an addition reaction. In an addition reaction, we are reacting an alkene. Let's use this very simple alkene as our example. We're reacting an alkene with some molecule that has the formula X, Y. In hydrohalogenation specifically, we are reacting with an HX molecule, where HX can be HCl, it can be HBr, and less commonly, it can be HI. In this reaction, the HX molecule adds itself to the carbon-carbon double bond. This causes the carbon-carbon double bond to be converted to a single bond, and we add, I'm going to use some colors here, we add the hydrogen to one of the carbons of the alkene, and we add the halogen to the other carbon. So we get a product that looks like this, an alkyl halide. The mechanism for this reaction is pretty straightforward. The I'm going to move this up a little bit. So in the mechanism of the reaction, let's use a little bit more complicated of an alkene. So now we have some methyl groups on our alkene instead. And let's use HCl as our reactant, as our molecule. So in this reaction, the carbon-carbon double bond, which is very nucleophilic, reaches out and attacks the hydrogen of the HX molecule. And that causes the hydrogen chlorine or hydrogen bromine or hydrogen iodide bond to break. So when that happens... The pi electrons from the carbon-carbon double bond are actually being used to form a new bond to the hydrogen molecule. So we are going to be creating a bond between the carbon atom and the hydrogen of the HCl. And that bond is going to be right here. Our other carbon of the alkene temporarily is going to be a carbocation. And we have also, when we break our HCl bond, when this bond breaks, we produce a chloride ion or bromide or iodide if we're using one of these guys up here. Once that has been formed, then the chloride ion or the Br- minus or the I- minus will go ahead and attack the positively charged carbon and this will give us our final product. So there are a couple of things that we need to consider when we are drawing the hydrohalogenation mechanism and predicting the products of the, of the hydrohalogenation reaction. One thing that we need to consider is the regiochemistry. Regio is a prefix that we've used before. Um, in looking at the elimination reaction, we talked about regio specificity. Regio is just referring to region. So in this particular case, regiochemistry is looking at which carbon of the carbon-carbon double bond gets the hydrogen and which gets the halogen. which carbon of the carbon-carbon double bond gets the hydrogen and which gets the halogen. In this particular example, I used a symmetrical alkene on purpose to keep things simple. And so it wouldn't have mattered if we put the hydrogen on this carbon or if we put the hydrogen on this carbon. But if our alkene was asymmetrical, would it make a difference where the hydrogen ended up being located and uh, what the product looked like? So we do need to look at regiochemistry where does the hydrogen go and where does the halogen go? We also need to consider stereochemistry. Because this reaction causes us to convert achiral carbons to potentially chiral carbons, if we make chiral carbons in our products, what is the stereochemistry of those carbons? So if a chiral carbon is formed, will it be 
R or S. And then the third thing that we need to consider, and this one is going to be relatively simple because we've already thought about it before, this mechanism, because this is always going to be a two-step mechanism, this is not like SN1 versus SN2 or E1 versus E2, we always have two steps in this reaction. We are always going to be forming a carbocation at the end of step one. We, so that means that we do also have to consider rearrangement of the carbocation, and there's nothing different about this potential for rearrangement. When we get to this step of the reaction, if our carbocation can rearrange to something more stable, it will, just like we have seen in previous reactions. So in the next few videos, I'm gonna go through these three different factors one at a time, and we'll practice applying them to different hydrohalogenation reactions.